We're working in two different countries, um, two different cities. We're working in Kathmandu in Nepal and Tacloban in the Philippines, both of which were affected by serious disasters in recent years. Philippines, um, Typhoon Haiyan in 2013, which killed about 6,000 people and damaged several hundred thousand houses. And the Gorkha earthquake in Nepal in 2015, which killed around 8,000 and again destroyed several hundred thousand houses. The, the humanitarian agencies generally only reach a very small proportion of those who are affected in major disasters. It's a very long process, disaster recovery. Um, you could question whether you can say whether people have recovered at all, actually. But, you know, three, four, five, six years isn't really very long for, especially for poor households who are more or less having to do it with their, their own resources and their own, their own contacts and opportunities and skills. I'd like to see a, a transformation in the way that the humanitarian shelter sector does its work, that it doesn't see itself as an implementer, which is largely what it does these days, but it sees itself as an enabler. And it, it finds ways of enabling many more people to, to, to recover in their own ways.